So here we have uh, a respirator, standard N95 respirator uh, made by 3M, really good company, highly recommend it, with exhalation valve. So this plastic valve allows you to uh, wear this mask for longer periods of time and more comfortably because it circulates air for you and it keeps your face cooler, therefore you could uh, potentially wear it for a long time. Use your sanitizer to clean your hands. Make sure you do not touch on the inside of the mask. Treat the outside of the mask as this contaminated zone. It's rested like this so that the strings are hanging like this. Make sure that the metal nose ring is right on top, obviously. Chin here, I'm putting the mask on. Using the bottom string first, bottom string first, go all the way across and below the ears, below the ears. Then use top string to go above the ear, above the ear, and just let go. Finger in like this, so that it molds around your face. To take it off, Pharrell first, hand sanitizer. Place your hand here, bottom string first, up, bottom string first, top string then. Then, open it up you can reuse these masks i know that these masks right now go for insane amount of money and there is no they're nowhere to be found so if you have a respirator you can reuse it if you do not have a respirator and 95 respirator you could use a standard thin mask take it off after you've put it on is your take your fingers behind your ears not here do not touch this area behind your ears like this you take it off and obviously this is disposable and obviously just drop it in the garbage like that and then parel your hands you know hand sanitize your hands afterwards so here's a a, a scenario where uh, i care for my sick grandma who is sick at my house right now in hypothetically speaking in in the bedroom she's there i have to bring her food i have to make sure to check on her periodically, I have to take care of her. So I have N95 respirator that is in limited quantities. I don't have an access to, you know, to many of them. I would reuse this every time that I would get in into her room, into her bedroom. I would set up a station right outside of her room uh, where my uh, a Perel bottle would be where my N95 respirator would be to gown and gloves would be so there's a little station that you can set up before entering the room I would Perel my hands and I would use this exact technique then when I exit the room I would on something really clean and use very clean material to cover the top and reuse this mess it's totally okay many hospitals now recommending reusing N95 respirators simply because there's shortage of them and we have very limited resources. So to summarize uh, the uh, tips for mask, most important thing that you can do for yourself is to determine where are you located at this moment? Are you at the higher viral load environment or are you at the low viral load environment? At the low viral load environment, it's not important as important to wear a mask. You may, you know, you may just be careful and uh, watch for for people who you're in contacting. When you, however, in the higher load viral environments, the car with patient or with the loved one who is sick, who you're taking to the hospital for care, or you are in the hospital, or you at home with for sure someone already sick in the bed and entering their environment, entering their bedroom where they are, this is higher loads environment, you must wear a mask. The best mask is N95 respirator, if you can find it. Educate yourself as much as you can. Most important thing, please don't panic. Believe in yourself, believe in community. Thank you very much.